but I am back with one of my favorite things to do which is to get a sample from Sephora and usually it's foundation um, and to try it out and I made the sample a week ago so I hope it's still good it has been closed I haven't even opened it but it is the lawless woke up like this foundation in the color heat so we are going to get straight motherfucking to it because your girl just woke up now if you're interested in seeing how this looks on my skin then stay tuned all right so I'm really excited to try this because I just want to show you guys this is my foundation section there's like maybe a couple primers in there but for the most part it's I'm going to use the milk hydro primer I'm literally going to take a pump I don't think you need any more of this I was making a sample when it first came out and then I got it and I was fucking shocked I was super shocked. Um, I like it a lot. I do think it makes my forehead a little bit dewy, but not in a terrible way. Um, I like it a lot. It definitely keeps your makeup on on all day. I've used it with some of my like normal routine foundations, but it's really nice. I honestly think you don't need any more than the pump, and you want to wait more than 60 seconds. It says 60 seconds, but I like to wait like two minutes so you can really dig into your skin and do its thing so let's talk about this um and this is part of the clean at sephora clean at sephora stamp it says it's full coverage and it's for normal oily and combination skin it's a natural finish and a foundation formulated for all skin types with buildable coverage and a fresh radiant finish so let's jump into it let's 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 i desperately need to clean my brushes it's not a rough one I feel like I say that all the time, but it really has. But that is just the journey of life, right? Just up and down. All right, so let's, this is what it looks like, the little sample. I feel like it's close to my skin tone. You know, you still have to blend it out. I do have a freshly cleaned, um, uh, freshly cleaned sponge. Is this freshly clean? A freshly cleaned sponge and then a freshly cleaned, um, when that happens i hate dropping makeup on myself it's like not easy to get out okay so off of first impressions this smells like you ever smell a plant that has like a strong i don't even know the right it's mitochondria i don't know something scientific it smells very scientific it does not smell makeup -y. top um so far it's actually a pretty good match. Like on camera in person, I really like it. Um, there is, I don't wanna say I really like it, I should like change that verbiage. Um, it is full coverage, I will say that. It does read a little red in person, but I'm wondering if maybe I use too much. I mean, that, is, that smell is terrible. You know a smell would make me not purchase something, right? I hope you guys know that about me. I feel like I have about too much product. It's looking a little red on me, so I'm going to press this in with a sponge just to see if it picks up product. Okay, it's not picking up any product. So let's try pressing this in. I feel like it's, I'm not doing anything on my face right now at all. It could be, it could be the primer. It really could be the primer. I'm just not seeing it pick up any product, which is, I guess, a good thing. But I wanted it to like distribute in other areas. Maybe I may have missed and sort of dulled down the shyness a little bit. I like to use a sponge to to do that, but um, dude, I don't know. The shine is definitely that, that smell. It's very familiar. It smells terrible though. It's not even like it smells like paint or anything like bad like that. It's more a smell of. Well, I've had this thing before. We do you think that that might be the reason why. I don't know. I hope this doesn't make me break out because I have been breaking out lately. And I feel like I have the ill summer tan right now. I need to get rid of this. Let's spread it out. Okay. 
I would say it's about I feel like it's full um, I definitely don't see any of my dark spots I will say that I don't see any of my dark spots um, but it is super duper shiny on my face I'm gonna wait for that to like dry down a little bit and maybe read in the comments um, the reviews also it says it is non comedogenic skin nourishing for me won't clog pores it wears comfortably throughout the day with a lightweight feel that won't fade or disappear antioxidant rich skin balancing oils includes absinica camilla oils and hydrating shea butter helps support the skin's moisture barrier for a supple youthful appearance with this formula you can achieve full coverage with a natural skin like finish that never looks cakey or dry um on sephora web website it has 3.6 out of 5 stars and the first thing I'm looking at, and this is a review from 17 days ago, says that it's the best foundation ever. Let me start off by saying I've tried so many foundations for my combo to dry skin. This has been the only foundation that has done the trick and made me feel beautiful. This formula has so many great ingredients for your skin and perfect for anyone looking for no silicones. Mmm, maybe that's why it's not really moving. Because silicones usually are like, I feel like they're more... I don't want to say mutable, but that might be the wrong word, but they're able to be manipulated in a sense a little bit. So I'm going to just leave this alone and do my eyes a little bit. Puffs, puff up. That's a tongue twister. So this is the medium. Yeah, this is translucent medium. It's got like a, I want to say like a salmon. So I'm just going to make sure that like I have just enough and let's blend it out. I don't know if Colourpop, I want to say Colourpop is like vegan and, and cruelty free as well. But I could be wrong. I really could be wrong. I stopped doing this for a little bit and I saw such a difference in my makeup and I hated it. So I'm back to doing this. This is honestly my favorite thing to do which is to take a puff for the under eye area because I feel that a sponge for somebody who's oily and acne prone and textured skin I feel like I can't afford to just be taking a beauty blender or the Morphe sponge or any sponge for the like and be dipping something wet I can I just I don't know I couldn't really get with that and I never liked how it looked I tried it like almost basically dry it just doesn't work out and I feel like when you use the puff you really get the powder in there especially when you're oily so I'm just gonna use whatever is left on there I might take a little bit more and sort of press that in and here as well I found that when I do this I end up enjoying my makeup a little bit more and I get a lot of compliments of how smooth it looks a sponge just I don't know I just can't get with it it might be just because I have the Morphe sponge but I just couldn't personally get with the whole like that to me screams cake like cake I was gone for like 20 minutes I went to go eat I made a full breakfast it was delicious I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts I have a little bit of mascara on my new usual nude um this is like a classic sherry like if someone needed to do my makeup real quick and it's a good picture of me i feel like i would be satisfied if i was like out of out of whack <laughs> um the foundation is really really nice i like that it doesn't um have silicones in it um it doesn't have dimethicone which is nice um it is truly 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 vegan i really really like it. i feel like i don't have anything on there is a little bit of a shine there i wonder how long it's gonna be until that kind of like goes away because for example with my milk one i do really like it but the shine takes forever to go away and if you keep putting powder on it it just i don't know i just never seems to satisfy me in a sense so I have to like wait I try to do each layer but the Laurel's foundation is definitely approved I will say my only little beefing thing with it is just the smell but other than that I really like how it looks I feel like my skin looks really smooth it is not very um, I 
button something that you can manipulate so i think that's why people like silicones like dimethicone inside of their foundation which allows you to like spread it so i feel like once i applied it and i did spread it initially the first time it's just gonna cover that section and call it a day i like that it didn't necessarily have to bronze so it might be nice for me for like the summertime my most important feature that i enjoyed about this and that i'm really excited is the fact that it worked with my concealer um ColourPop has never given me any issues but i did add a little bit of the Laura mercier to balance it out which i really like because i feel like it's a little bit more neutral underneath my eye without it being too like stark white everything looks balanced it feels like i don't have anything on and those are really important things for me when i'm choosing a foundation i don't know if i necessarily pick this up because even though i like it i don't know if i want to spend i don't know 40 dollars on it that sounds weird right like i like something but not enough to want to go out and buy it. i do like how it looks on my skin but i also need to see how it plays out for the rest of the day thank you guys for watching my channel